helping offset costs of law enforcement and emergency personnel. Uh, that is being brought to another committee in another week or two for approval. I'll keep you posted if how that impacts us. I did email the Blake from League of Cities, the director there, asking him how it would impact us since we contract. He said that they have they have a solution they're working on tied to that because there are quite a few communities that do contract with sheriff's departments throughout the state. Um, so we're looking to see what we could do or how we'd get benefit from that. Okay. Because uh, our arrangement with the county is pretty much we pay for the salary Staff. and the, I believe it's salary and benefits and they cover the cost of the equipment like the vehicle and their equipment. Right. So uh, we're looking into our options on that. Middle school update. I asked Mark Amir for a quick update. Uh, he indicated that many of the areas of buildings have been punched out by the architects. Furniture is installed. Spaces are essentially ready for occupancy. The primary, this is primarily occurring on ac academic portions of the building. That's where they put their main focus to complete work. They will not have some of the other areas done by school year, like, um, like an auditorium or the bigger spaces that are not academic. They'll likely not have that ready. Uh, construction activity is still occurring in the Commons, Administrative Office, and Special Education Suite. Uh, work is anticipated to continue this week and part of the next week. Uh, he indicated that contractors will be calling for final inspections the week of August 10th and will begin final testing of systems prior to requesting the certificate occupancy, which is currently planned for August 18th. Uh, as you mentioned, does not include auditorium or musical classrooms. They have a later completion date. So they will be asking for a temporary CO. Uh, we are hoping that all goes well and smooth and they can knock everything out. Um, <clears throat> we'll know more at right. the next council meeting time. We'll know if they're asking for, or if they're, they'd be getting a temporary CO or if there'd be some delays on that. So okay. uh, I know we'll try to work with them where we can, but at the same time, it all depends on what if there are safety issues or findings like that that impact the building. What was the date to get it there to try and open the doors? Well, they would hope to have a certificate of occupancy by August 18th. Yeah, okay. Mid but is it like the school week school after that they, no. I mean, if they get a week grace period? Uh, the school got delayed till the after Labor Day. Yeah. They, oh, they, they get delayed after roughly a week. Okay. So that does help them out. It gives a them a bit. couple more weeks. Yeah. Right, so give them a couple weeks. So. Uh, I know they've indicated though they'd like to be operating out of the school for, for school year, well, even if they had a remote. development for the first couple of weeks. Yeah, what's going on with that because they do it teaching, yeah. getting the teachers up to speed on so, some stuff. So. But yeah, okay, we'll be able to camp. Other building inspection news. I know Keith mentioned to me last week. I believe it was to you, Corey and I. We are over 100 permits for the year permits keep in mind that isn't just houses a good chunk of them are houses but is reflective of houses decks uh remodel you know finishing a basement but we're at over 100 right now this time of year last year uh we were around 80 i believe it's right in that ballpark so we're up a bit from last year and we haven't had the hit of new housing developments coming online yet. So keep that in mind, that number is gonna jump. good from the angle of we're doing better than last year, <clears throat> but you're likely going to see that jump <clears throat> over the next few months here. Um, with Cub Creek, you could you can now get a building permit for Cub Creek. Uh, Lost River, they're knocking that out as quick as possible, it seems like, the underground is, seems like it's about in. So Lost River is not real far off the horizon. Mm -hmm. And then Southdale, they're going to be trying to knock that and Maple Lakes out before the end of the year. And their goals were to be able to have it to where you could build a house in before the end of the year. So like I said, with all those different ones coming online, you're likely going to see a spike. And that also doesn't factor into the commercial. We, had it, we have already had an increase in commercial and industrial for those. Yeah, so we counted over 600 lots, and we have more applications coming in. So it's amazing. Applications uh, for new lots or for additional subdivisions? Yeah. Yep. Well, so we our backlog. Like if they didn't think they would come. Yeah. Yep. So, they so keep coming. Over 600 is our 
open currently by end of year. Yeah. By end of year, have online, mm-hmm. which we anticipate Our inventory. So yeah. that would be, yeah, yeah. That keep tabs of that number and just see it. Yeah. It'll be interesting oh, yeah. to see that grow and ebb and yeah. flow, right? Because as housing starts, <coughs> movements start happening. Yeah. So when a permit occurs, does a lot then come off your inventory list when somebody admits a permit? I haven't been What's the process, I guess, to know that? Yeah, like you say, is it just... Oh, I did it. <coughs> I tabulated the plats that came through just to kind of get a rough count of the lots that are uh, coming through. Now, of course, every road is going to get finished at a different time, so those lots will open up for development. <coughs> but uh, I'm guessing that the majority of those should be ready to go. This fall or spring. Well, so, that it, yeah. it's going to be an interesting number that we're going to want to continue to monitor because not only because it becomes a liability for us, right? right. If, if we those developments don't fill up, so we want to see the pace that those convert from developable to something actually happening on it. Yeah, we took a lot of inventory analysis back in April, uh, but we, we just had so many coming online that. Those numbers became worthless. Well, that's what I mean. You, you could, I, I would argue that you could probably do that analysis like on a quarterly basis. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would yeah. I would think we should publish that or something, at least on a quarterly basis, so we can see that trend over the year. That would be a great yeah. tool for us to manage. Well, yeah. And then we can show others, too, when we start talking about what we're right. against here. Mm-hmm. You know, especially when the legislative session is coming around <clears> again. Yeah. This is what we're dealing with, guys. Right. <clears throat> yep. Oh. Um, yeah, we are trying to keep track of some of that data. It's just not as timely as we'd like it to be at times. Okay. Um, other news, surveys, utility bills will be going out tomorrow, I believe. They were envelopes were stuffed today. They all took them yesterday, so people may see them in the mill tomorrow or the Wednesday. Uh, found within the utility bill, is shape paper talks about two different surveys one is for our strategic plan the other one is for water water survey is available online but we also gave a hard copy a paper copy where individuals are able to submit that they can throw it back in their water bill and we'll tabulate the data from there uh, we have had i want to say roughly about 50 60 responses on the water survey as of right now that's through doing facebook posts done two little pushes for or two pushes for folks on Facebook our last push is right now we're doing through the mailer through utility billing and like I said we're giving the folks the opportunity to complete it by pen and paper if that's their preference we do recognize that not everybody does Facebook so that's why we're able to address that in that manner um, and then the strategic plan survey that's going to be available on there that's available online too and that would help us with our strategic planning sessions that we're expecting to have around bean days so the second week in, uh, or second weekend in september that thursday friday is what we're looking at um, so we should have that and then the last item i had is facility needs site visits uh, that's looking at city hall or potential Characteristics of a new city hall. We're going to be doing some site visits, look at other city halls here towards the end of month on 20th and 21st. So, just a heads up about that. Uh, you should be seeing not too long after that we do a site visits. Hopefully, we'll have this facility needs study from Santac, and we can present that to council so you can see what that what they're saying is recommended sizings for office space and different components of the city hall so yep okay anything else nope all right um did bear one thing i was going to mention to you i know you guys are swamped with stuff too but we probably need to have the guys maybe take a little bit take one sweep around and look at some of the mowing of the uh, undeveloped lots i've seen that uh, got a few of those out in our our area out there in Lost River, I know there's more. It was probably a time to get a reminder out to them because the Canadian thistle's heading out now. And we don't really want that blowing around if we could knock it down earlier. So I'll just throw that out there. That's all I had. Dave? Nope, I don't have anything. Brian? I had something quick, but I can't think of what it is now. Nope, I'm going to let it go. Yeah. Not that important. <laughs> Get a chance. I Get had a chance. chance. Yeah. It must not have been that important. All right, so then we're at the end of the show. We'll see you Motion to adjourn.
We had one. We had one more question. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, I just wanted to let you know I have a small condo business, so I wanted to offer you a subcontract and thing for you. You want to do that? Okay. Sounds good. Yep. All right. Okay. Right Motion to adjourn. Second. <laughs> you do the second. All in favor say aye. 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 All right. Uh, so we get approved, we can just uh, <laughs> set this away, right? You can just go do it. Right? All these.